I'm Emily. This is Will. And that's Lou Dog. And we live on our sailboat, Appa. Catch us every other Wednesday on YouTube. And welcome to the Sailing Bison. I think I've figured out the hardest part about living this lifestyle. We spent Christmas in San Evaristo, and I'm used to Christmas being a really happy, loud, exuberant occasion, surrounded by family and loved ones with lots of food and drinks. This year looked very different, albeit warmer, but I certainly found myself missing my family a lot. I made up for it by doing a lot of self-care that day to try to up my spirits, and despite that not working, I was really grateful to have Will around to keep me company and offer me handfuls of cheese before dinner. We have effectively trapped ourselves on the boat for the last three, four days. So we are going to take this good boy to the beach. What Emily failed to mention was that one of the reasons we felt trapped on the boat was because the locals here celebrated Christmas by shooting off all their guns, and we didn't want to interrupt that. So once everything had quieted down, we went to land and visited the local tienda. They didn't have much, but it was a good chance to practice our Spanish, we got what we could, and we were soon again back off grid. to sail with the westerly wind but it's really calm outside so I don't know if that's going to be possible. Will's checking the engine stuff right now. I've been awake since 4 30 because our <coughs> neighbor thought it was a great idea to run his generator that early. Bruce. It's loud as <coughs> Thanks Bruce. But yeah we're gonna move. Uh, check the oil it looks good. We'll check the coolant. Check the alternator belt, and uh, that's all of our pre-checks. And we're good. Uh, there's a blower that sucks all the air out of the engine cavity, pumps it out back. Uh, we usually let that run for about a minute or so. So, keys engaged, blowers on. Wait a minute. In case you can't tell by the sweaters, it's also cold as shit this morning. We woke up and the dog was like perfectly between the two of us, just like nestled in. It was cute, but it was cold. I even got my snow pants and slippers on this morning.
gets out of the track. One night, two nights, one night, two nights. Two nights. Amor Tejada is supposed to have a cool little like dinghy trail. Is that on the water right there? Uh, it's supposed to be a cool dinghy ride through the mangroves. So we're gonna go do that. You have to do it just after low tide, I believe. High tide. Just after high tide, have been bluntly corrected from the cabin. <laughs> So we're gonna do that, but that's really like the only attraction there. And then we're gonna go north to Punta Salinas, which has like a big long beach and it used to be a salt mine. So they left, they like abandoned it and left all of their equipment up there. So we're just gonna go hang out on the beach, wander around, look at the equipment, and then we're gonna move on. I'll show you the map. So here is uh, Santa Barista, which is where we've been for the last week. Uh, we celebrated Christmas here, and now we are just crossing the channel right over to Amor Tejada. And then Puta Salinas is up here. This is all beach along here, this whole little like crescent. I'm looking at it right now, actually. That's Punta Salinas right there. And the best part about all this is that we're actually sailing. We have just enough wind to be sailing. We're going 2.6 knots. It's great. We haven't been able to sail in what, two weeks? Two weeks. It's great. It's so quiet. I'm the only noise right now. <laughs> The silence, however, was pretty short-lived. Dude. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Here comes the dolphin to f*** with it.
From California to Baja, we've seen a lot of boats with a Delaware home port. It's funny for me because that's where I'm from, and if you don't know Delaware, it's a small place. We got down to seven feet there. Ooh. What? Yeah, my heart's racing. Yikes, that's scary. All right, go ahead and drop, we're at 30. Okay. You can probably tell from the excited look on my face that we're about to see some very cool birds. A mortajada is known for its mangrove maze, which once you bring your dinghy over the sandbar, you have miles and miles of uninterrupted mangroves to explore. Every corner teeming with new birds to take pictures of. It was a big day. Join us next week as we head up to Timbapiche and then get on our way to Agua Verde. Now, I'll warn you, Timbapiche was the worst night we've had on the boat. So bad, in fact, that I don't think we have any video of it. But it was terrible, so join us. <laughs>